Welcome to today's tutorial on drawing realistic perspective with a ballpoint pen for beginners. So I'm excited to share with you because I believe that anyone can learn to draw regardless of their skill level or experience. One of the biggest struggles I faced when I first started drawing was getting perspective right. I'll try to draw a simple scene but it will end up looking flat and unrealistic. So I just couldn't figure out how to create that sense of depth and distance that I saw in other artists work. And I think a lot of beginners struggle with this too. Understanding the vanishing point and how to create the illusion of distance on a 2D piece of paper can be really really tough. It's easy to get overwhelmed by all the technical terms and concepts and it can be hard to know where to start. But don't worry, we are going to tackle all of that in this tutorial and I promise you it's going to be a lot easier than you think. Another challenge I faced was getting caught up in the idea that I needed fancy art supplies to create good art. But the truth is, you don't need a lot of fancy equipment to draw. Even a simple ballpoint pen can be used to create amazing artwork. So if you are just starting out, or if you are on a budget, don't worry. We are going to keep things simple and focus on the basics. A lot of people also struggle with the idea that drawing is a talent you are born with and if you are not naturally good at it, then you will never be good at it. But I don't want to believe that is true. Drawing is a skill that can be learned with practice and patience and anyone can draw realistic perspective. It just takes a little bit of effort and dedication. So let's dive into the fundamental concept of perspective drawing. First, let's talk about one point perspective. So one point perspective is when you have a single vanishing point on the horizon line and all the lines in your drawing converge to that point. This is great for creating a sense of depth and distance and it's often used in drawings of roads, train tracks and other scenes where you want to create a sense of distance. Now using this rough cube as an example, everything I sketch out here falls back to the vanishing point and that's to create a sense of distance and depth to your sketches.
Next, let's talk about two-point perspective. Two-point perspective is when you have two vanishing points, one on either side of the horizon line. This is great for creating a sense of depth and width and it's often used in drawing of buildings, rooms and other scenes where you want to create a sense of space. So following the explanation I just gave, I want to make a practical example of what I meant by creating a sense of space. Now I'm going to use a keyboard for this example to see how to achieve a sense of space using your two-point perspective. Now that we have covered the basics of one-point and two-point perspective, we will talk about how to apply this concept to a ballpoint pen drawing in our next tutorial. One of the key things to remember is to use gentle, soft lines when drawing your perspective lines. This will help create a sense of subtleness and realism in your drawing. So as I said earlier on, we'll move to the demonstration portion in our next tutorial. And we are going to draw a simple scene of a tall building. So to recap, the key techniques we covered in this tutorial are understanding one point and two point perspective, using gentle soft lines to create perspective and adding in details to create a sense of depth and interest. And the best part is you can do all of this with just a single pen. And thank you for watching everyone. I hope you learned something new and valuable in this tutorial today. Remember the key to getting better at drawing is to practice regularly and have fun with it. So grab a pen and a piece of paper and start drawing today. Don't be afraid to experiment and try new things. And don't worry if your drawing aren't perfect at first. With practice, you will get there. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.